360 degree videos are popping up everywhere these days. But I have a problem with them. Not with the technology itself, I think it's incredibly cool. No, I have a problem with the name. Now I know where it comes from, 360 degrees. That's a full circle, a full revolution. And that's what you can do with these videos. You can go all the way around, say horizontally. I mean, you can even go 360 degrees vertically like so, or any direction in between. You can look around fully. But why is it 360 degrees in a full revolution and not some other number? In fact, that may be an ancient mistake that we are keeping on. Some people think that some of the ancient civilizations, such as the Persians, introduced the degree as 360 because they thought there were 360 days in the year, not 365 and a quarter plus an extra little bit. So it may be based on a complete mistake. Then again, some historians also argue that the Babylonians had a base 60 system and it may be that they just divided up the angle in an equilateral triangle by 60 to land at the degree or 360 was chosen merely because it's a very divisible number. There are 24 different numbers you can divide it by and still end up with a whole number. That's a very nice mathematical property. But it still is a rather arbitrary number to choose. I mean, other people have come up with other methods of measuring angle. For instance, the gradient was the decimal equivalent of angle where there are 100 gradients within a right angle. Never really took on. But there's only really one natural unit of angle, and that is called the radian. You can work out how many radians there are in an angle by drawing the arc of a circle, measuring its length, and then dividing that by the radius of the arc that you've drawn. The ratio of those two will give you an angle in radians, and therefore there are two pi radians within a full revolution. So am I arguing to call these videos 2 pi radian videos or 2 pi videos? No, no, not at all. Because my second issue is that an angle doesn't really represent what these videos are all about. By definition, an angle is contained within a plane. You can go around in only one direction with an angle, whereas what we want with these videos is to encapsulate all directions in 3D space. We need the two-dimensional equivalent of an angle. Now, one way you can represent all of the directions on the surface of a sphere, in particular we do this for the surface of the Earth, is to use latitude and longitude. Latitudes can go from minus 90 down here up to plus 90 by here, and then you can go a full 360 degrees in longitude. So should we call these 64,800 degree square videos? Well, no, actually, because that's mathematics gone wrong. If you've ever looked into, say, map projections, you will know that you cannot represent the surface of a sphere on a 2D plane. You're always going to distort either lengths or areas or both. So how do we get around this problem? Well, firstly, we need to go back to radians, and secondly, we need to delve into calculus. Let's take a very small patch of a sphere and it's so small, in fact, that we can almost treat it like a rectangle. One of those lengths, when we go up latitudinally, will have a length of the radius of the sphere times by the difference in the latitudes, as measured in radians. That's great. What about around in the longitudinal direction? Well, this time, we're going around a circle which is actually smaller than the radius of the sphere unless you're at the equator, and that's because you have to project that radius down. That gives you an extra factor, a cosine of the latitude. And here we have an expression for the area of this rectangle. Now, if we do exactly the same thing that we did with our radians, we take out the radial bit and just group all the angular bits together, now we have an element of what is called solid angle, the two-dimensional equivalent of angle as measured by a new unit, the steradian. If we add up all of these absolutely tiny rectangles that we've drawn, using calculus, we'll find that there are four pi steradians on the surface of a sphere. So really, 360 degree videos should be called four pi steradian videos, or four pi videos.
Do you agree with me? You can vote right here to let me know what you think these videos should actually be called. 360 degree videos, two pie videos, four pie videos, whatever you like, and let me know why you've decided that in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this non 360 degree video about 360 degree videos. In fact, this video was brought to you with a field of view of 61.4 degrees by 48.0 degrees, or that's 0.855 steradians, or 7% of a full sphere. Sorry, I don't have a 360 degree camera. Uh, if you've got all this way to the end of the video, then you may as well just like, subscribe, and share this with your mates. Thank you.